transporting the exhaust here and in this OMC2 tutorial what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how you can install add-ons like buses, trams, trains, maps, sound mods, so forth. So once you know the process it's quite simple so this video was requested by a viewer on a live stream so I decided I would get this done out today for you. So what you want to do first of all is you want to download the mods. So there's many websites you can use. I've put the links to them in the description. So the ones I would recommend are Feral's Films and Virtual Hold for UK content, and then the OMC2 forum, um, OMC2 Streff, OMC2 Web Disc, and there was another Polish OMC2 website that has escaped my memory. Now, uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to download a update patch for Smarten. So I'm going to Smart and Fictional. And then we are going to download the minor performance and bug fix. Um, okay, I'm going to download this. I think that's going to fix everything. Okay, so then we're going to open this up. So basically, what happens is most maps, buses, so forth will have a folder like this. So these folders here all will correspond to ROMS2 directly. So once you've opened this up with WinRAR or 7-zip, whichever file extracting program you have. Uh, what you do is you go into your the folder, your file explorer, then you go to this PC, wherever your OMC2 directory is, so most cases it's going to be local disk C, program files times 86, Steam, Steam apps, common OMC2, and then we are in our OMC2 directory. So for most cases, for most add-ons, this is where you will drag in your uh, add-on. Sometimes for buses, uh, it might be, for instance, called like, let's say if you're going to vehicles here, London City Bus. So if it comes up like this rather than vehicles, then you need to go into the vehicles folder and drag it in there. So that's just one thing to bear in mind. Sometimes it will actually be in the specific folder rather than in the generic folder that you just drag into the main OMC2 folder. Sometimes you have to drag it into a specific folder. So just watch out for that. But what we do now is, what we have to do is we click this one, left click, and then shift. Let me just drag this out. That's it. That's how you install an add on into OMC2. This is the same for whether it's a bus, a sound mod, a map, and so forth. So, now all we're going to do is wait for this to work. Oh, sorry. And well, as you can see, I did this in the wrong place. So, I'm going to delete that because that was not for the vehicles folder. OMC2 folder. Sorry, bear with me there. Yeah, so make sure you do it in the right folder because else it's just going to be taking up space un needlessly. So what's going to happen now is it's going to come up with a little window because what happens is most times, say if you have loads of add-ons installed, a lot of maps use the same objects, uh, there's lots of open source objects, so it will ask you to replace files. Now, in most cases it's optional, however sometimes if you're installing a new map, so let's say, or you're installing a patch, like I am in this case, you need to replace the files. And the reason for that is because if you don't, then there's going to be issues where half it's going to be from the old save, half it's going to be from the new save, so usually the best bet is to replace the files in the destination, but sometimes if you are downloading maps that um, may cause issues, then you might regret this. But in this case, I know this is not going to cause any issues, so you're just going to replace the files in the destination, and then that's it. Now, for most cases, this is all you have to do, especially with buses, usually most buses work, there's only the Volvo 77 hybrid that causes issues, but every other bus works. Uh, Maps-wise, you're not done yet, because what happens sometimes is that the maps don't actually work, they're missing objects and tiles, so what we're going to do now is we're going to go into our vehicle, so the other thing is you also need to add in the hot files, but you can do that at your own discretion, so one thing to bear in mind is, for instance, this map here is smart and it's not enough just to download the map, you need to make sure you have all these dependencies. So in order for the map to work, you need to have every single one of these add-ons installed. And that's because it uses objects from them. So what we're going to do now is, there's a very useful, uh, useful add-on for OMC2 called OMC2 Map Tools. And you want to download this, so... I'm going to download this again, I already have it, but look. Make sure you have this, this is a very handy add-on, I'm going to have a link in the description, and you're going to open this up, so then what we do is, before we actually run the maps, we're going to go into these three dots here, and then we're going to go into Smarden, 
because this is the map we uh, installed or installed the patch for so we're smart and hiding smart and where are you there we go click ok and now we're going to make sure that this works correctly so once this is finished it's going to give you a it's going to give you a report on whether it's missing any splines or objects now you can also use the blue sky mod if you want it gives you more uh gives you more information for instance of missing vehicles or humans it's very straightforward to use it's very intuitive that kind of thing so you can use that as well if you want and the one thing to bear in mind is sometimes what will happen is you will have no missing objects or splines but when you load in the map you have missing tiles now that happens because um, if you're downloading a map that uses characters in its objects or in its uh, files for instance let's say I download a bush map and uh, one of the map uses a cylindrical uh, letter in its object if my computer is set in a language other than Russian or other than a language that uses a cylindrical alphabet which includes Russian characters obviously you will not be able to read because my computer is set in English uh, Obviously, you can only read objects and maps that are written with English characters. So that means anything that has an umlaut or anything that has a Cyrillic letter, anything that has a Chinese letter for that matter, will not work. And it's any uh, tile that has an object with a foreign character to the keyboard you're using or to the PC, the language you're using, that tile will not load up. So that's one thing to bear in mind. And unfortunately, there's no easy fix for that because you'd have to rename object names or you'd have to reset your language to the PC to be match that of the game so unfortunately if your PC is not in the language of the map sometimes it may cause issues where umlauts and foreign characters to your PC is used so that's just one thing to bear in mind so as you can see here we have all the objects we'll tell you all the objects if you have any missing objects will be listed here and you have to go through the painstaking uh, task of finding them sometimes to no avail Okay, and that's it. That's how you install Alan's Farm City. Nothing more to it. And when you load up the map, if this is a brand new map, one thing to bear in mind is you have to load it without buses for it to show up on your screen. And that's it. And um, I know the person asked me specifically about the sound mod, but that's how you install the sound mod. You just get the files and you drag them into your OMC2 folder. For the sound mod, you shouldn't ask it to replace anything. And then when you load in OMC2 and you load in the C400R, under the C400R, there will be new variants and they will be the ones that have the sound mod. So I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, don't forget to give it a like for more OMC2 tutorials. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And if you have any issues, questions or tutorial requests, do notify me in the comment section down below. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.